All right, so I have this door, which is a basement door that I don't use in my walkout level in the winter, and I just don't use it very much ever, really. But uh, I do have it, and it leaks, like, a lot. Uh, I've adjusted the door, I've changed the weather stripping. I really need to change the door, but I'm just not going to do that. So, what I had decided to do was to purchase this plastic insulation kit and really all it is is a just a sheet of plastic with some double-sided tape on it uh, to seal it up and the gap between here and here will provide uh, some insulation in particular it'll stop a nasty draft that's coming in from three of the four corners in this door that I can't seem to do much about all right so let's give you a quick look around the package yeah, nothing interesting there. Three instructions, roll it out with the uh, tape on the top, put some tape down the sides, and use a hairdryer. So the only two things you should need are a hairdryer and a pair of scissors, other than what's in the box. So let's get to see what's in the box. And again, I've not done this before, I genuinely don't know. I've used similar things before, but certainly not this self-adhesive tape. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's got tape right on the, uh, right on the edge. Okay, interesting. And then there's this uh, little roll for the vertical parts. Okay, let's uh, see how it works. Okay, yeah, there's just drafts coming in on these three corners and there's just not much I can do about it. So let's do what it says, which is, roll this out. Now I'm gonna to try to roll it out here on this little edge. It might not be big enough. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to go to step two first. I'm going to put the double-sided tape down the edge here instead. So I'm just pressing it into place, making sure that there's no air bubbles. You can hear a few of them coming out. So that is sticky. So I'm just going to roll it out. Press it into place. I'm going to make it a little larger than it needs to be, but not much. But I'm doing that in case I don't have it completely straight. So I'll cut up the side a bit. There we go. Let's push that back into place. Well, I got a little trap under there. Let me just pull that out. There we go. All right, let's pull this down. Hopefully I cut it straight. Whoa. All right, so that's about perfect. Now what I have to do is pull the cover off the tape. Well, that's done as far as the initial plastic goes. And 
and you can see it's good enough for a basement just leaving it like that. I didn't trim the bottom because I'm just going to pull it off in a few months. Um, but it actually looks acceptable for what it is. However, because you're watching, I will use a hair dryer to shrink it just to show you how it works. Now, that being said, I don't have a hair dryer, so I'm going to use my heat gun. I, my wife had a hair dryer, but she's not here anymore, so you can do the math of what happened there. Oh yeah, boy, does that tighten right up. Okay, well, let's take a look at it now. Pretty impressive. So it's much easier to use the plastic with the tape already on one end than it is to use the sheets that you normally get with these kits and have to fumble with it much easier to roll that out, make one cut, and be done. Look at that. What a great job. Hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like if you found this useful. And if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.